the diversity of the artwork at Parliament's International Women's Day Virtual Exhibition mirrored the artists who showcased their talent in the rotunda of the Red House. 15-year-old Naomi Joseph chose to fight negativity with positivity in two of her paintings. Both superheroes named Naomi, whose superpowers include positivity, happiness and strength. I was always positive and I like... Like, like you see what black lives matter and women lives matter. I don't find all of that necessary. I find every single person lives matter, like everybody, and no negativity should even be in this world. So I'm trying to make everybody feel important and like they have a voice and everybody lives matter. One of the five male artists in this year's exhibition is Kun Salandi, a member of the Coast Guard. Mr. Salandi said he wanted to pay tribute to the woman who are members of the various arms of the Defence Force. And I think that, that the women in the force are like the very kind of, there's a quiet strength in them because they have to do everything that that their peers do and like they, they just, I mean, they knock it out of the park and they don't really hear about it. So um, I thought that my sisters in arms needed that kind of um, representation. I just wanted to give um, some kind of representation to them. The pandemic forced one artist to focus on her hobby, fine art. Emerging artist Simone Jaslow said her piece is meant to reassure women that even when it feels like they are struggling, there is always a divine presence protecting and guiding them. So the one side of the piece is a female figure, a female face, and she looks a little pensive. She looks could even be a little worried. And on the other side that she can't see is um, an angel figure who is constantly there. Um, and ever present. So that's what I was trying to get across. <laughs> it's the gallery's second International Women's Day exhibition. A total of 51 pieces are on display until March 26th. Kimberly D'Souza, TTT News.